So now I want to show you guys me now with lupus and how that has changed. Today for y'all, I'm gonna, you know, show y'all what not everyone sees. So these two, it's just like, ugh, and I feel like this one is just the worst right now. And like, I hate it. Hey Navy, welcome back to my channel. It's Nay Rose here. If you guys are new, what is up? Make sure you subscribe to keep up with my journey. My channel is all about motherhood, um, beauty, growth, change, um, and now most recently living with lupus, um, which I am not ashamed to say, you know, me sharing my journey um, is a good thing. I've realized, I've come to realize over these past couple of months how much sharing your journey can like impact others and how much you can feel like you're not alone so if you haven't already make sure that you guys catch up on my first I guess like documentary of me living with lupus this is going to be part two like I said it's going to be a whole series I'm gonna take you guys along with me through all of my emotions all of the next steps all of just behind the scenes of what I'm going through um, and also little things that I feel like you guys would be interested in. I have been reading the comments, which thank you, thank you, thank you. Like those have been keeping me like sane and making me just feel better about the whole situation. I think we're almost at like a thousand comments and yes, I read all of them. Like they pop up on my phone, just like how y'all's notifications pop up and I read through them and I get to the ones that I can get to. And I might make like a whole nother video, um, like reading through some of the comments and you know, like taking a lot of y'all's suggestions because it has been really, really helpful. And I have started implementing some of the suggestions that y'all have recommended already. If you clicked on this video, then you're probably here for what it looks like, which is a hair and skin journey slash update type of situation. As y'all can see, I wanted to get on here in my most pure, in my most raw state, which to me is no makeup at all. Um, my hair, my natural hair, curly, freshly washed, clean face, um, no lashes, just completely pure, completely raw, completely me. Um, do I feel comfortable in this state? Um, kinda, sorta, yes and no. Uh, like, I'm not gonna be all up on the camera like, mm, look at me. But, or actually, I did make a video the other day, actually with Kyson. I didn't even post it, cause I was like, dang, like, my skin, like, ugh. But, you know, just regular day to day, going out, whatever, I don't really care. Like, it's not to a point where it's like, just, I'm just like insecure and not confident, like, definitely not. I still go around with no makeup, but I wanted to come on camera like this, which I also do all the time, but specifically for this video, because I'm gonna be updating you guys on my skin and the blemishes that I have had, along with like the balding that has come in addition to what I already had. So, before I just keep rambling, I think we're just gonna start from the beginning. So let's go way, 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 way back. And I'm gonna add like pictures and stuff on the side of the screen so y'all can like follow this with me, okay? Follow this, follow me, follow me. And also this video is for my personal reference too so I can like refer back to it and be like, wow, like who knows how things will change moving forward a year from now, I don't know. But right now, if you haven't seen the video, I recently chopped my hair off and cut it. Okay, like I'm just at that point. Like that should just tell you the point that I'm at. Take it all off. Like I might cut it shorter. Take it all off. Keep it. <laughs> like, okay, I feel like I'm all over the place already. Going back to when I was a child, I've always had, um, I guess like easy to manage hair, um, long. I was always like one of the kids where they're like, oh, you got that good hair. Oh, where are you from? Like all that type of stuff. And it's just like, I kind of just was like, you know, hmm, I'm black, like, <laughs> you don't have to be like of a different ethnicity to have good hair, good hair and stuff like that. So I always kind of like, just like overlooked it and stuff like that. But I did have long, black, healthy hair since I was younger. 
Um, and then moving forward to when I got to around high school, you know, that's when you're trying to find yourself, express yourself. And I just really wanted to dye my hair and I was just into that. I had to like beg my mom to like let me dye my hair and stuff like that. And she did. And then that's when I just like ran with it. Um, I had tons of different hair colors. So uh, that's just kind of how I operated all throughout like my teenage years when it came to my hair. I knew how my hair was and I knew I liked trying new things. So I took those risks um, and nothing ever really happened. Like my hair never really got damaged, I don't think. So I guess I say all of this to say like, my point here is that this is all prior to lupus. Let's just fast forward all of that now and speak as of most recently. And I'll say around like November, or over the past year, like my skin, my hair has just always been treating me well. Like it was always in my favor. And no matter how many comments I get on like, oh my gosh, like your skin looks so good. What do you, what's your skincare routine? Or like, um, what hair products do you use? Or girl, your hair, da 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 Cause y'all know I'm, a, I'm an influencer. I, I do stuff for brands. Like I get paid for my hair and my skin. Like it's a thing <laughs> whether we want to admit it or not like that's part of my brand as well so uh, um i've been impacted greatly with this diagnosis and i just know like looking back on pictures and videos even from as recent as november like my hair and my skin was like so good like like this is like literally right before i started getting signs and showing signs of lupus. Skin was just so good, hair was like, I felt it was healthy, not even knowing what was to come. So now, I wanna show you guys me now with lupus and how that has changed and what has changed because, you know, of course I notice it and I know other people do. Like, I got my first, I guess, comment on it. Um, by this girl that I know and we were just talking and stuff and she was like what happened to your face or no that's not what she said she said um uh, what happened to your forehead or what happened right here and she kind of pointed and it like kind of like threw me off guard because I was just not expecting it like and then me knowing like <laughs> because of the lupus like but I just told her because you know we were cool or whatever and I just said oh yeah um so I've been diagnosed with lupus and this is one of the, I guess, like scars that has occurred from it or whatever. And she was just like, you know, I'm so sorry to hear that. Like, hopefully it'll get better. Like, and I was like, girl, it's like, it's fine. Yeah, like, and that's the point where I realized like I have to get used to, you know, having blemishes, having bald spots and stuff, which I'm gonna show you guys because I found another one, sadly. Um, but it was at that point where I was like, dang, like, I'm not invisible. I'm not the only one who can see it and notice it. Like, I was just like, dang. And then, oh my gosh, I don't wanna cry. But I'm like, did I take advantage of like my skin and hair while I had it? Like while it was manageable and while it was in my control? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like, wow, anything could happen. Like. Let me just show you guys right now. Well, I don't, I'm sure I don't even have to get this close. I'm sure you can already tell. But this is one of the spots that has not gone away yet. Um, I just want you guys to see like the details of it. Um, so yeah, that's one. And I just put my medicine on it. And then I have a little bit of, I don't know, a reaction like right here that's not horrible. But also this right here, um, it's gotten a little worse. Like it's gotten darker and I've been using the medicine. Um, I don't know. So these two, it's just like, ugh. and I feel like this one is just the worst right now. And like, I hate it. I really do hate it, but I'm trying to just be like, oh, it's gonna go away. It's gonna go away. Um, and then I wanna show you guys, I guess like my bald spots. Um, I have my comb handy and everything and also I haven't put on the medication for those spots today yet So I was like I might as well do it on camera. Why not? But so as you guys can see I have like a deep side part, right? 
on purpose because <laughs> I'm trying to hide my balding, which it started growing back. Like, I don't really know. I don't really check on it every day because I don't want to get like anxious and be like that. I don't want that to be like at the top of my mind every day. So I really don't check the progress of it. But today for y'all, I'm going to, you know, show y'all what not everyone sees. So literally right underneath, like right behind where I parted it. This is so embarrassing, y'all. <laughs> but this is one of the spots. Hold up. So yeah, this is one of the spots. So it actually expanded. So uh, this wasn't the main spot. <laughs> it extended into this one. But the main spot is actually there it is <laughs> this was the main spot and that right there is hard to hide like as y'all can see it's literally like so depending on how i part my hair basically all of this is balding like <laughs> and i was teasing at first i was like imagine somebody taller than me just looking down and being like well damn like <laughs> this girl ain't got no hair but now it's like a more serious thing where it's literally like i'm literally insecure about the top of my head like <laughs> this is ridiculous and then like i was feeling my scalp the other day because it's like you can kind of i don't know if this is with everybody who is experiencing this like let me know in the comments but like i don't know it's like i can feel it like when my scalp is uncomfortable or like kind of hurts so it was like one day and i was like feeling around and i was like it hurts right here. And so I was like, wow. And I started like looking into it and moving my hair around. And I have another spot that formed over on this side. So let me find it real quick. Oh, wait, hold on. First, let me put the medicine over here real quick. And it's just a few drops every day. Make sure I cover the whole spot. Ooh, like what? Like it actually kind of burns. I don't know if it's because I freshly washed my hair or it might be the combination of the product and my scalp since it's bare. Let me find the other spot. Probably, oh wait, yep. <laughs> there it is. Like, wow, wow, like, wow. It's so embarrassing. Okay, so y'all see it. It's pretty bad. The other one started off small like this, or it started off even smaller, and then it just started expanding. So I'm just like, all right. Like it got big within like a month. So yeah, that is what I'm going through that nobody sees. Cause I just flip it back over. At this point, you guys, I'm just kind of like, over it like I don't even know like I just I don't even know I cut it short and I do feel better like I feel like the red has kind of like it kind of distracts the fact and it doesn't make it so obvious versus like the black because it was like black hair and then um like a light color because I am a lighter complexion just my scalp right there so I don't know I guess with this being light and my hair being light, it helps, but still, like, it's like if my hair is parted the wrong way and it falls down, it's like, oh my gosh, like, the whole day, I'm always just like, either I've been wearing so many hats, so it's like either that or I just kind of try to keep it in place or like make sure it's just stays put. Not that I'm really going anywhere for real, <laughs> but so when I do, it's like, that's something that I have to think about. Um, and another thing, which I guess I could talk about in a different video as well, is like, I noticed like I really haven't been out like that, like doing the things I really want to do because like, I'm, I'm nervous, like knowing that me being in the sun could literally cause a flare. It's like, why would I want to go poolside for the whole day? Like usually I would go out there and tan and stuff like that. And it's just like. I, I still am trying to remember to even put my sunscreen on. I'm supposed to wear sunscreen every time I go out. Like, I'm, I'm not used to that. Like, you know, I literally, there was like a time where I left and I was like, dang, like I forgot to put my sunscreen on. 
that's not something that like when you go out you want to like explain to the people that you're with like like I don't know it just it doesn't seem serious but like to me it is because uh, in like a week like I don't know how this works I don't know I don't know <laughs> like so then the whole time while I'm out I'm like wow like I'm having fun right now but in a week is my whole face gonna be like flaring up like am I gonna get another bald spot now like it's just a lot <laughs> to deal with so anyways um, that's where I'm at with everything uh, it's like I'm dealing with it okay but at the same time it's just like damn like why like I don't know I guess cuz it's like more manageable right now I'm not too too down about it cuz like I can deal with this and I'm comfortable in my own skin and I'm comfortable in my truth. I think that's one thing that really helps. It's just like, um, this is reality. And like I said, you guys have been making me feel good too. But um, there are my moments where I'm just like, dang. But anyways, I don't want this video to be too, too long if it isn't already. Um, let me know what you guys think. Don't judge me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to stay optimistic. At the end of the day, I'm just blessed to be alive. Thank you, God. Because um, he's walking with me through this whole journey. Right next to y'all is my God. Okay, the almighty one who gets me through it. <laughs> so anyways, I just want to give y'all an update to show you how things have changed. Like, in my opinion, I just went from long, healthy hair to like short balding skin breaking out like my skin used to be so just vibrant and good and i feel like it is still good it's just like the spots like i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i'm just keep taking my medicine there's a lot of stuff that i've also been doing like the dr Sabi stuff i'll update y'all on that but i did purchase it like immediately so don't think i'm not doing what needs to be done y'all behind the scenes um just drop down any more questions that you have in the comments below and or any other topics y'all want me to address when it comes to me living with lupus um and we can chat and i'll be back for another video so thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much i truly do i truly mean that i'm not just saying that Y'all are navy, and I truly feel like we are united and connected through this through this camera. Okay, y'all, y'all are my friends. Okay, because <laughs> in reality, I don't have any friends. So. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, navy. Mm -hmm.